Mantra and Bar. At our new location, we have two separate rooms that we do classes in. We have a room that's uh, solely dedicated to all of our yoga classes. And then this room is where we do any bar and boot camp classes. So um, I just filmed a video actually in the yoga room. Um, that video is a five minute dynamic warm up, how I like to create and build heat in my body, stretch and loosen up my joints before I start doing any type of physical movement. Um, so that video is a great one to A, look at our yoga room setup, and B, it's a great one to do before every single one of my videos or any type of workout that you do um, at the gym or at home, wherever you work out, um, to take that with you. So it's a really great way to warm up your entire body. Um, especially this video, I'm not really going to do a huge warm up, so it might be a good idea to click on that video first. And I'll make sure I have it up first before I put this one up. Um, so I know it's been quite a while since I filmed the videos. I've been in the contemplation stage for a few weeks, trying to get myself motivated and inspired, which thankfully I have. Um, I have a couple of different ideas of videos that I want to do. Um, I want to film another arm video. I want to do, I've created my own boot camp method. It's a low impact boot camp. I want to film some of that for you guys. Um, I have some new um, low impact cardio classes that we're doing here. A lot of new exciting things that I want to bring to my YouTube channel as well. So those of you that can't get into the studio can still do the classes and follow along with me online. So um, today's video though is going to be a um, lower body and core, so no upper body workout using the bar uh, ball. So I know um, a lot of you may not have a bar ball at home. Um, some of these exercises you can use um, a block with if you have a yoga block. I am going to link um, the balls that we use at the studio, the one that I'm using, in the description below. Um, they're super cheap, I think they're like $10 maybe. Um, so, and it's really, there's a lot, a lot of things that you can do with the ball to enhance your workout. So um, it's a great thing to have if you're working out at home to add to your equipment and you can take it anywhere because um, you can always deflate it and then blow it back up. And if you're on vacation, this is a great workout for the ball. Do this. Um, yeah, so this has no upper body in it. So if you want to go ahead and click into my 10 minute arm exercise video after this, then you get a full body workout. Um, this video is not going to be too long, probably be about a 20 minute workout. I always say um, 20 minutes and then it ends up being an hour, but this time this one's going to be a swift, quick way to get your heart rate up, feel your legs shaking, create a little fire in the belly, sweat, and then feel nice and accomplished afterwards. So like I said, we're doing just a quick warm up. So if you want to do something more, pause this video, do my other warm up video and then come back. Otherwise, we're all going to start at the top of the mat. And then taking your ball and then inhale, just bring your arms all the way up overhead. Big deep breath in and then exhale, slight bend in the knees as you fold all the way down and just drop your ball down onto the floor and then just let your head come down. You can shake a little bit side to side if that feels good. And then keeping a slight bend in the knees, slowly vertebra by vertebra, slowly roll up, keeping your chin tucked in until the last moment. Little shoulder shrug and then inhale, bring your arms all the way back up overhead. And then we're just gonna do that two more times. Exhale, fold all the way down. Drop your head down and let it relax, no tension anywhere. And then inhale to slowly roll all the way back up. And exhale, fold all the way down. Last time. And then we're gonna to start to get some fire in the legs. We'll roll all the way up one more time. Bring the ball all the way up. Take a little side bend over to the right. Inhale back up to center. Side bend over to the left. All the way back up. And here we go. We're going to take the ball in between the thighs. So make sure it's above the knees. So you don't want to be squeezing in the knees. It's more on the thighs. And then make sure you've got a nice squeeze going on. 
And then inhale, bring your arms all the way up. Exhale, we sink down into a chair position. Inhale, exhale. So we're linking breath with movement here as we inhale up and exhale, sink down. And when you sink down, your weight is mostly back in your, in your heels. So you don't want to grip in your toes in your chair position. And making sure that you come down with your chest lifted. So you never want to sink your chest down like this when you come into a chair position because then instead of your legs doing the work, your lower back starts to take the load. And then you'll start, um, that's when you start getting lower back pain. Anyway, you guys are like, okay, how many more reps do we have? Let's do five more. Four. Three. Two. Last time we hold it down, pulse down for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Now hold it down. Now you're just going to do little squeezes of the ball. Press in. Press in. Now when you squeeze the ball, you want to think of that squeeze in. You don't even want to think releasing the squeeze. You just press in. Press in. Press in. Maybe you sink down a little bit lower as you're pressing 5. Four, three, two. Now hold the squeeze of the ball and just start to pedal your heels. Right, left, right, left. So don't lose that squeeze of the ball. Your thighs are working hard as you squeeze. You don't want to lose that work in the inner thighs. For four, three, two. Now you guessed it. Both heels lift up and down. Up and down. Six more of these. Five, four, three, two, and then hold the heels up. Sink down a little bit lower. Reach your arms up. Last ten squeezes. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, and release the heels. Inhale, little mini back bend. Exhale, fold down. Now keeping the ball in between your thighs, we're headed into a plank position. Just your ball if you need to. And we're just going to hold for about 10 seconds. Take a little alignment check if you need. Wrists right underneath the shoulders. Gaze slightly past your fingertips. So your neck is aligned, you're pressing back through the heels, no arching your lower back. And now we're just going to start to press into the ball like we did before. Little squeeze in, squeeze in, squeeze in, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now hold the squeeze of the ball. With the flexed right foot, you're going to lift up the right foot in, in uh, a few inches and then just pump it up, up. So you're still squeezing the ball with your thighs as you lift up an inch for six, five, four, three, two. Hold it up, three, two. Place it down. Same thing, other side. Left foot, flexed foot. Hold it up, squeeze. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, hold up, three, two, place it down. We come right down into a forearm plank. Try not to drop your knees in the transition. Holding for 10 seconds, then we start to move. Three, two, both knees tap down, lift up. Tap down, lift up. For six, five, four, three, two, and one. Walk it all the way back. Whew. All right, I'm already feeling some heat in the body. So let's take a child pose, and we can actually use the ball in our child's pose just to stretch out the lower back. You can bring your hands on the ball 
and then maybe drop your head down. <sighs> All right. Here we go, booty work. Okay. So I'm gonna turn around to the side so you can see what I'm doing. We're gonna take the ball and squeeze it behind the right knee. And I'm staying in a tabletop um, with my hands now, but you can come into a forearm position if your wrist need a little break. Now flex the foot, lift your leg up as high as you can, and then just start to press in. Press in. So same concept, you want to think squeeze in. Not even releasing, just those squeezes in. And then remembering here to try to keep your back nice and flat, minimal arching in the lower back, and trying to square your right hip down. Now hold the squeeze, and you're going to drop the knee down, right to hover over the floor, and then inhale, lift it back up. Now the whole time, you're holding that squeeze of the ball down and up. Now also in this exercise, you want to um, remember not to be sinking your weight down here and creating tension in the shoulders, but you want to lift your energy up and outwards from the mat. Six more. Up five. Down. Four. Down. Three. Down. Two. Down. Now last one, we hold it up. Pulse up. Pulse up. And up. For five. Four. Three. Two. Now hold it up. Now point your toes. With your knee up at your highest level, you're going to turn out the legs side diagonal and then back to center. Side diagonal and out. So this movement really lifts the tissue up a lot. So you should be feeling this not necessarily on the side that we're moving, but it's that standing, uh, that supporting booty that you're feeling it in. So you can really feel the lift at the top of the booty. Good. Five. Four, three, two. All right, now hold it out. Now we're gonna turn all the way to come onto our left hand and then grab the ball with our right hand. Extend your leg all the way out. Really lift up with the hand that has the ball, your right hand. Flex your right foot, tap the toes down and up. Down and up. Down and up. If your wrist is starting to hurt, you can come down and do this in a forearm position. I'm good here though. Four, three, two. Now hold it up. We're gonna crunch knee to elbow, bring it back out, and then um, bring your heel back, your entire leg back, and then crunch in, out, kick back, crunch, kick back. So when you crunch, you're feeling that in your right side body, and then when you kick back, that's that booty work. For six more, five, Four, three, two, last one, hold it center, hold, lift the leg up a little bit higher, hold five, four, three, two, and release, whew. All right, let's just take a little four quarter stretch on the left side to kind of release that, stretch it out a little bit before we go on to the other side. So cross your left ankle over your right thigh. And then if you have the space, you can bring your right heel a little bit closer in towards your tush. 
And we're really hitting up that spot. We just work super hard. Good. And then release. We're going to come into the other side. A little water break. All right, good to go. Left side, so now I'm turning back around so you can see me. All right. Squeezing the ball behind your left. Flex the foot. Lift it up. And we squeeze. Squeeze. Just keep thinking height in the leg. So if you think your leg is up high enough, lift it up a little bit more. Remember to drop your left hip down slightly so you're square. Try to remove the arch in your lower back best you can and keep lifting out away from your shoulders and your wrists. Five, four, three, two. Now here we go. It's down and right back up. Keep holding the squeeze of the ball. That's the key here with all these exercises. You want to keep the squeeze. Down and up. You exhale on the way down and inhale as you drive it all the way back up. Five more. Four. Three. Two. Last one, we hold it up. It's up, up. Little pulses at the top here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now hold it up. Point the toes. It's outside diagonal and center. Outside diagonal, center. I always feel. The second side is always the toughest to get through because you're already sore on that side. And it's a big ask to get you through that whole sequence you already just did. But you gotta just push through it. Almost turning over to the side. Let's do four, three, two. Now hold it out to the side. Here's that transition. Swiveling all the way to the other side. So now resting on the right hand, and our left leg comes flexed out. Reach, 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 stretch, 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 with your left arm all the way up towards the ceiling. Tap the toes down. Inhale, lift up. Now, as you can see, my gaze is slightly down. You can look down if you need to, or slightly down straight ahead, just so your neck is aligned. Don't look up, all right, because you can kink your neck that way. So keep the gaze slightly in front of you or down. Keep lifting up from that right hand. Can always come down to the forearm. Let's hold it up. Now I forgot if on the other side I pulsed. If I didn't, well, here's some extra credit. We're gonna pulse that leg. Up, up, up. Six, five, four, three, two. Now we're gonna go into those crunches. Crunch, feel the crunch in the left side body, and then kick that straight leg back. So it's a straight leg that you kick back. Oop. It's also a little balance exercise, huh? Good. Kick back. So you want to try to keep the height as you crunch. So you want to target your oblique muscles there. Five more. Four, three, two, and last one. Hold it up, lift your leg up a little bit higher. Hold five, four, three, two, and release. Whew. All right, four corner stretch on the other side. And then we're going to get into some core work with our ball. All right, so this time we cross the right over the left. Hold your stretch here. If you have the space, you walk your left heel up a little bit closer. Good, and then release that. All right. What a break. Okay. So we're going to get into 
into some curls now, um, which is a classic bar exercise. Um, now, traditionally, and I'll kind of explain this as we go through the work, um, but let me explain this first and then I'll get into my little spiel as we go. Um, squeeze the ball between the thighs. Again, you don't want it in the knees. And then bring your hands behind your thighs. Your gaze stays straight, straight ahead the whole time. You have a little space in between your chin and your chest. And then you're gonna round your spine so like someone's punching you in the belly button to come all the way down until your lower back hits the ground and your shoulder blades are up. We hold for a moment and then inhale, trying to keep the heels glued in towards the mat the whole time as you come all the way up. Exhale and down. And then hold it. And then inhale as you come up. Now as we continue doing a few more of these, I'm going to explain what I was trying to explain before, which is that if you're new to fitness, if you have any lower back injuries, when we start to pulse and get into some um, more intense, progressed movements, you may not be able to keep your lower back on the ground and your shoulder blades up. You might have to stay uplifted a little bit more. I do. Um, it's very common. The curls are very difficult. So you can stay a little bit lifted if you need to. You'll see what I mean as we come into it in this next set. So on our exhale, we're gonna come down. Now we're gonna hold it down. The full expression would be, again, your lower back presses down, your shoulder blades are up. And then as you press your lower back down, you pull your lower abdominals in. Then you just start to curl up an inch, up an inch, up an inch. So again, if you need to keep it up a little bit higher and curl from here, no big deal. The biggest thing here is that you want to make sure that your spine is rounded, getting that C curve is what we call it. Okay, because that's when you're going to start to work your abdominals hard and you'll feel it. All right, so now we're going to hold. Extend just your right hand out, left hand still underneath the thigh, and then just pump that arm down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Bring it back underneath the other thigh. And then we do the same with the left. Pump down eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now, if you can, both arms come out. We pump down eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now, hands in a little fist. Tap and curl. Tap and curl. Just an inch. Now, you should really start to feel that fire. Eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, and lift all the way up. Okay, so now we're going to come and get into the obliques a little bit more before we take it all the way down to the ground. So I'm going to turn around so you can see me on the side. So we're going to come down into that curl position and then come over to our right thigh. So both hands twist over to the right thigh and then we start to curl from here. So keep twisting your chest over to the right. We curl, and you try to stay down as low as you can. As you see, my lower back is not down. Um, the full expression would be the lower back down, but if you need to stay here, you stay here. We go four, three, two. Now, either just the left hand comes in a fist and you tap, or both come in a fist and you tap. Tap. Eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, hold. Raise your arms up. Try not to fall back. Three, two, hands underneath. Roll all the way up. Okay. One more side before we come down to do some more core work on our back. So lower back down into your curl. And this time we go over to the left side. Both hands come to the outside of the left thigh. We curl up an inch. Up an inch. So you're feeling this in the side body for six, five, four, three, two. Now hold it down. You do those little taps, either just with the right hand coming over or both for five, four, three, two. Hold. See if you can raise your arms up without falling back. Three, two. Come all the way up. Big deep inhale. Exhale, we come all the way down. And take our hand 
legs behind our head now. And we're going to crunch up and then exhale, come down. Inhale, crunch your knees up to your chest and then tap the toes down so that ball is still in between your thighs. And try to keep your elbows open wide the whole time because when you come in like this, you're compressing in your upper body. And you always want to be open there, right? We, we already walk around our day-to-day -day life so closed up with our heads down, phones in our hand. I'm guilty of it too. I'm actually the worst offender probably. That's why it's so important in your practice, even if it's just 20 minutes that you practice openness. Okay, five, four, three, two. Now on your next one, you're gonna bring the legs up. You're gonna hold your crunch up and just um, press the legs, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now here we go, we're gonna have some fun. Ball pass, take the ball out from in between the thighs and then crunch up as you pass that ball into your feet and then lower the legs and the arms down and then inhale, crunch up, pass the ball back. We're only gonna do a few of these because they're intense. Pass up and down. Inhale, pass. Exhale, lower. Inhale. Exhale. If this bothers your neck at all, you can always just keep the head down and just come up and down like this. You're still working your abdominals that way. If your lower back or your hips are bothering you, you can always pass the ball with bent knees, like so. Otherwise, we're going to do three more. And two. Last one. Oh, release that. Just stretch your arms up. Windshield wiper the legs side to side. We're going to finish up this workout with some bridge work using the ball. And then we're going to be all good to go. All right. So let's finish up strong. Ball goes back in between the thighs, squeeze, just some traditional bridges to start, up and down, up and down, hold the squeeze, five, four, three, two, hold it up, little pulse of your hips, up, 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 Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it up, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Walk your feet in a little bit closer. Keep the squeeze of the ball, lift your heels up and down, up and down, up and down. Four. Three, two, and hold your heels up. Raise your right leg up. Pulse with the right leg straight up. Up, so you're still squeezing the ball with your inner right thigh. Three, two, now hold it up. Press in with your leg. Press in with the thigh. Press, press, press. Keep lifting the hips up. Five, four, three, two, release it down. With both feet on the floor, you pulse with your heels up for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it up. Lift your left leg up. Hold the squeeze, pulse up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it up. Press in, press in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, down. Last pulses with both feet down, heels up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Whew. Good job. All right. So release the lower back a little bit by hugging your knees in towards your chest, rocking from side to side. 
Just doing a quick cool down here. So you should do more on your own afterwards. And we're actually going to rock up and come onto our bellies to release the abdominals in a space position. Forearm on the floor. And keeping your gaze forwards. Great way to stretch the abdominals and stretch the lower back. It's always important to do um, lower back health and strengthening as well as abdominal. And then lift your chest up if you can, if you have the space. Into a seal position. Ooh, I just felt a little bit of sweat trickle down me. Good. And all the way down. Your workouts don't have to be long to be efficient. Come all the way back and into a child's pose. And we're going to end here in this child's pose. Now, if you want to quickly from here, um, click out of this video and go on to the, um, my 10-minute arm video and really get a complete workout. Even though with the planks, we did work out our arms, but if you want more upper body burn, I'll link that video down below or even put a clickable on top of this video right now. So if you want to quickly click on that and get in some arm work, um, that would be great. Otherwise, it's a great, awesome, full workout. I hope you feel empowered, inspired, accomplished. And keep looking out on my channel for more videos. Um, lots more to come, lots of exciting things. If you have any recommendations, anything you want, leave them down below. Um, come to our new studio if you live in Long Island, by Mantra Bar in Smithtown. I'm going to link my class schedule down below as well. Take a class with me in person. Otherwise, I hope you have a great, great day and thank you for practicing with me.